know, as a parent of four, I try not to get too obsessed about toy recalls. But this one did catch my attention from the Wall Street Journal yesterday. Apparently, Mattel's got a little bit of problem with the lead contaminated toys. It seems that uh, China, which makes about 80% of the toys our kids chew on, uh, let loose on about a million uh, of uh, Mattel toys, the Fisher Price line, which includes Dora the Explorer and Tickle Me Leadmo. Now, in defense of China, this is our fault. We pressure manufacturers to make low priced toys, and can you blame China for relaxing a little bit? We've got kind of a laissez faire attitude about the whole lead thing. And in fairness to Mattel, they were doing some monthly audits where they actually reviewed the manufacturer's own test records. I mean, come on, what's a little bit of lead poison? Lead is a potential neurotoxin that hijacks a developing brain. I like green. You can chroma green. Causing damage by mimicking helpful metals. Blah, 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 blah. Give me a break. In my day, we didn't even wear seat belts. My pacifier was made of lead. Repeated exposure can cause declines in IQ, and extreme cases can cause severe Dane Bramage. When I was a kid, I had this cute little airplane that produced an actual radon fumes. We had a hammock made of hemp. Look at wife of Nalts with her little asbestos cake. If I got a little toxic, I would just relax, take a nap, and my family would pray. For crying out loud, my parents gave me a Smith & Wesson when I was a baby. Come on, guys, lead's everywhere. Let's embrace it.